there's one, Charlie. Got him. <laughs> this little area right here, man, it's amazing. I mean, we are just, ooh, this is a big fish. Be my side? I wonder, we might just have to do this. I'm gonna turn the boat a little bit. I'm gonna try to square us up. Hang on here now. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna bring him in. This fish just we decided got split to, shot. Look at he's going the other way now. Big pike. Maybe a muskie. It might be a muskie the way it looked in the water. So either a big pike or a muskie. I'm gonna just step forward and let you see if you can get him. Big fish. More, a little higher, a little more. Is that a muskie or a pike? A pike. Big pike. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> I'm telling you, this right here is cool. <laughs> this fish is wound up. But here's what it goes to show you. Let's do this. Let me, uh, let's go over here with him. Well, I hate to tell you, you got another fish on your board. Yeah, I'm not worried about him right now because this is cool. This is really, really cool here. I'm going to, let's set this fish right back here. Okay. Let me, uh. Let me see what I can do to get this hook out. And then I want to hold this. You want to grab my coffee cup? Just take that coffee cup right out of there. Look at this. You don't think everything eats a spinner? I'm going to show you this fish. And then I'm going to figure out how to get it unhooked. Look at this. That is a big, giant pike. Look at this. What lives in the backwaters in a river, huh? Look at that fish. All tangled up in here on me. Wow. That is an awesome fish. I'm gonna get this thing unhooked. I'm gonna show them to you. It's gotta be 38 inches. Oh, it's a big pike. Look at that fish. Wow. <laughs> that is just cool. <laughs> Look at that fish. That's not Canada. That's right here on the St. Louis River. That's a big fish. I'm gonna get this fish out of here. What an awesome fish. That is cool. In fact, I'm gonna kill this motor in case this fish needs a second, Charlie. Come here, big guy. There he goes. <laughs> wow. That's cool, there's a fish on this board, isn't there? There's a fish on the board. All right. Man, is that cool. I, I just, I don't even know what to say besides, this is a fun fishery, this backwater fishing in general. I, I don't care where you go do this, whether you're doing it here on the St. Louis River or you're, you're doing it on, on Lake Pepin or where you're doing it, you're gonna find good fishing. There's a fish on this rod right now. We went through that whole thing there and there's a walleye on here, I imagine. Here you go, I'm gonna just give you that board. After that, you know what? I'm not even that concerned about the walleye hanging around on this thing. Oops, sorry bud, I thought you had it. Still got him, look at that. That fish hung on through that whole ordeal. And we got a lot going on. I mean, I'm, I'm all over with the boat. I was dodging that stump dealing with a big fish. I'm gonna just lift this one. I think I'm gonna, well, we'll see. Let me see what we got going on here. Another, I can just lift him. All right. Look at that. And there you go. When I talk about how strong those, those spinners are and how they're built, just hoisting 17 inch walleyes behind, behind a pike. That man, I'll bet you that pike was all like 17, 18 pounds. That was a big fish. I, I bet it was. A big yep. fish, nice walleye to boot. Wow, how cool is that, huh? <laughs> That's just fun. <laughs> if that doesn't get you charged up, nothing does. I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, over the years, I, I man, I, I love my walleye fishing. I love crappie fishing. But one thing that I've always said, I get excited when I catch a big fish. And you know, you catch a pike like that, I don't care what the species is. I just get excited when I catch a big fish. I catch 14 inch crappie and I get excited. Right, right. I catch a 28 inch walleye and I get excited. I catch a 10 inch bluegill and I get excited. A big pike though, what's so cool about a big pike is it makes your heart race when you see that fish in the water. Yeah, I mean, that big flathead comes yeah, up. And, yeah. And they're here. We got good muskies in here. You can catch sturgeon in here. You know, we pulled sturgeon out of five feet of water. 
That gets exciting. But it just goes to show you that every species under the sun, every game fish species, gets into this kind of stuff, these backwaters and rivers at, at certain times of the year. And, and they're in here, especially in the spring, they're in here to eat. And, and that's why that big pike's in here living right next to a walleye. And we got a double with a 17 inch walleye and a, a 38 to 40 inch pike. And it's because they're all in here eating the same thing. They're eating perch, they're eating shiner minnows. This is the areas that warm up. These areas that warm up get the fish, the, the game fish first, yep. and, and here they are eating. That's awesome. Follow, follow the forage. Follow the forage. Every time. Yep. Every time you follow, follow what they're eating. Remember this, fish only know two things, how to spawn and how to eat. Right. If you follow those two things, you're usually going to be in the neighborhood of where they're living. That's awesome.